astonishing new discovery. It's a groundbreaking device that works like a human lung, turning water into clean energy. This is on Out of Mind by John Liberty. Turning water into clean energy. The team of scientists at Stanford University have developed a revolutionary new electrocatalytic device and it works like a human lung. It transforms water into clean source of hydrogen fuel. Their research published in the journal Joule, J-O-U-L-E, -E, could improve the efficiency of existing clean energy technologies. After air enters a human lung, it passes through the alveolus, that's a membrane that extracts oxygen from air, and then sends the oxygen into the bloodstream. Wai Chui and his team of researchers in the Department of Material Science and Engineering found that by mimicking this process with a pouch created of a thick plastic film, water, and an electrode, they were able to increase electrocatalytic oxygen evolution and reduction by 32%. That means it increases the rate of chemical reactions used to produce hydrogen. Using a device that is 100 times thinner than a human hair, the teen hopes to generate more hydrogen fuel, a clean energy source that has the potential to one day power everything from cars to smartphones. YCU's team is now focusing on scaling up their design by researching ways to increase the design's tolerance of higher temperatures in an effort to make it more viable for commercial production. The team believes that by using nanoporous hydrophobic membranes capable of withstanding greater heat, they will be able to expand its potential applications. June Lee, the study's first author, notes, quote, The breathing mimicking structure could be coupled with many other state-of-the-art electrocatalysts and further exploration of the gas-liquid solid three-phase electrode offers exciting opportunities for catalysis, end quote. This is not the first time Chu's team has made a major breakthrough in the use of hydrogen fuel technology. In 2016, the Stanford engineers created arrays of silicon nanocones to trap sunlight and improve performance of solar cells made of bismuth vanadate. Quote, nanocone structures have shown a promising light trapping capability over a broad range of wavelengths, Chu noted, and he adds each cone is optimally shaped to capture sunlight that would otherwise pass through the thin solar cell. The team's breakthrough helped improve the production of hydrogen power and could help solve the problem of grid-scale energy storage by reducing corrosion in rechargeable zinc batteries in the future. Shugo Hitasi, the study's lead author, explained, quote, with our design, zinc ions are reduced and deposited on the exposed back surface of the zinc electrode during charging. Therefore, even if zinc dendrites form, they will grow away from the nickel electrode and will not short the battery. Unlike fossil fuels, the only byproduct of, product of using hydrogen fuel is water. For this reason, scientists have researched hydrogen fuels for decades, but have yet to find an economically viable process in which to produce it. But now, thanks to the research of Yi Chui and his team, the future of hydrogen energy is looking more promising. As the global energy paradigm continues shifting away from fossil fuels towards clean and renewable energies, it is important to note that the economic viability of fossil fuels has been artificially propped up by governments that are beholden to corporate interests. According to a study published in the World Development Journal, fossil fuel subsidies amounted to $5.3 trillion in 2015, rising from $4.9 trillion in 2013. This amounts to a 6.5% of global GDP. The Union of Concerned Scientists has also found that the hidden cost to human health is estimated at $74.6 billion a year. The positive environmental impact of radical technologies like Stanford's team's device cannot be understated. 
while lawmakers continue to pay lip service to the issue of global warming, this technology could drastically reduce the carbon footprint of the entire planet. Mountaintop coal removal is destroying entire swaths of land. Oil sands developments are on track to causing the second fastest rate of deforestation and hydraulic fracking for oil and natural gas, also known as fracking, can require up to 15.8 million gallons of water per well. In 2012, the total energy output from wind power alone in the United States surpassed 60 gigawatts. That's enough to power nearly 15 million homes. Meanwhile, renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, and hydro continue to be widely criticized as an inefficient means at meeting the nation's energy demands. So 15 million homes, let's say about, okay, let's say four people per home, that's 60 million. That's, uh, we have a, a population of over 300 million, 60 million. So, you know, that's a very substantial amount of population getting their energy from wind power alone. This, these, these were the 2012 numbers. So yes, renewable energy sources are the way to go, it seems. Now, the promising new device called Triton is already challenging criticisms of tidal power. Triton, a device created by Oscillar Power, is estimated to be able to power one-third of the U.S. without any need for underwater motors or running parts. Through the use of revolutionary new technologies like the Stanford team's device and Triton, we will soon be able to meet our energy needs without the use of fossil fuels. This is from The Mind Unleashed and it's on Out of Mind. I'll leave links below for you for this. This is unbelievably great and I hope they have a fantastic success. The sooner the better. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.